Hello and good morning. You're very welcome to the first in a series of Get Your Shirt On. It's so important in these unprecedented times that we show our love and commitment to the community game. And we know you're all desperately missing getting out and playing rugby. Well, today is the day that we hone and harness some of those skills. Today is all about getting your shirt on. And I'm going to ask only a few things of you. Number one, where's your shirt? If you haven't got your club shirt on, go and get it. I've got mine on. I'm a has-been trying to live in former glory days. The other thing you're going to need is a little bit of equipment. I've got a netball, I've also got a rugby ball, I've got a pair of socks, and I've got a bottle of water, mainly to keep myself hydrated, but can become a quite a handy tool in a little bit. Guys, we're going to be bringing this for the next three weeks. Make sure that you get involved. If it's your brother, your mother, your sister, roommates, whoever it is, get involved. But don't break any furniture. If we could just put a little disclaimer at the bottom of that, I am not responsible for anything that happens in your household. And the reason why we're doing it inside is one, because I'm a winger and I hate the cold and I know it's raining today. And two, it's very nice and comfy to be indoors. But before we get started with any of the rugby, any of the drills that we're gonna be doing, we've gotta get warm. I'm already warm, just from feeding you all that energy. The first thing we're gonna do, it's gonna be two minutes this next bit and I need your full attention and commitment to this. Number one, it's on the spot. We know what on the spot is. Getting your knees up like this. Oh my gosh, tripped over that rugby ball. Keeping your knees up like this. We're going to do this for two minutes. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to replicate a tackle. Imagine you're out at Twickenham. Eddie Jones is there. You've got the All Blacks. And you've got Ardi Surveyor or Rico Ioane running at you. One thing you want to do is make a good tackle. The number, seven, the number two thing you want to do is get yourself back up in the line. So what we're going to do is hit the deck. Boom. That was good. I think I've broken my back, but it's fine. Okay, so we can run on the spot. So when I shout tackle, I want you to hit the floor. So tackle! Perfect. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, if I shout chase, imagine you're being chased down, you've run a, you've caught the ball and intercept. Just say you're in South Africa in 2009 and you catch a ball from 70 yards out. No one's catching you, but they're chasing you. So you've got to put your foot down. So when I shout chase, I want you to really, just get as many connect and many connect to the floor as you can without actually like passing out like what I'm about to do. So when I shout chase, I want you to go really hard for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, chase. Here we go. That's five seconds. That's about 10 seconds. Okay, the fourth command I'm gonna give you is tag. We've all played tag, we all love tag, okay? So you've got to replicate tagging someone, okay? So by tagging someone, what we're gonna do is, simple as that, step to the left, step to the right, and tagging. We've got 30 seconds on this. Hopefully you guys are getting warmed up. You can probably see the beads of sweat on my forehead. So we're gonna go tag. Okay, right, now it's my turn to take a breath and it's your turn to work. Tackle! Bang! That's what I wanna see, tackle! Get down, get up. Eddie Jones is watching. We don't want lazy defenders. Chase, give me 10 seconds on the spot. Moving your arms and your legs as fast as you can. Making sure you can get as many connects to the floor as possible. High knees up, if you can manage with that. Okay, next 10 seconds. I want you to tag to the right, to the left. To the right, to the left. I should be on Strictly. I don't know why I've never done this. How about that? What do you give me for that? 10 seconds? Give me a 10 out of 10. Okay, tackle. Hit the deck, get back up to your feet. Tackle. Okay, now running on the spot. Haven't got long on this section left. 20 seconds of this two minutes. Told you it's gonna be high intensity, high energy, but it's gonna prepare you for the rest of the session. Okay, Chase, give me 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant work. Okay, last 10 seconds of tag, go. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. There we are, making those tags. Okay, bang, there we are. That's the first two minutes done. How are you all feeling? You feeling good? Do you want a drink of water? Grab yourself a drink of water. When I said that you need your club shirt, that's just because we want you guys to represent. If at any point you get really hot, just whip it off, it's fine. You're at home, it's cool, I don't mind. I'm not taking mine off though, that's for sure. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is sidestepping. 30 seconds of sidestepping for your bigger guys, your second rows and your front row forwards. 
really important to have that mobility. So making sure that you're keeping yourself in those really cool positions. Of every step, I want you to plant. You should get your glute really fired up through that. Solid plant, pushing off, transferring that weight onto your left. And we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So it should look something like this to that, okay? So in three, two, one, go. Side step. Someone's gonna tell me that's a terrible side step, but my game was about running fast in a straight line, not to the side. So when you think about side stepping, think about Jason Robinson, someone like him, someone that could do that. In fact, on England Rugby's Twitter page, they actually shared his brilliant try, or not try from him, it was Will Greenwood, but it was against Wales in the World Cup in 2003 when they went on to win that World Cup. Three, two, one. Guys and girls, I'm absolutely loving the effort so far. We've had two and a half minutes of our warm up, high intensity, loads of energy, all with your community club shirts on. Absolutely loving it. So take 30 seconds rest, and then we're gonna get into the next bit of it. I'm gonna have a quick swig of this. And don't forget the whole time, I don't want you to go and sit down, cross your legs. I want you to stay on your feet, even if you're just having a little march, just making sure you're keeping that blood circulating. You're keeping the heart rates up high, not too high, but we're just keeping it at a decent pace. Whilst you're resting, I'm gonna explain the next segment of this. Going into a line out, something that I've never been a part of, but do you know what? It's a brilliant art form. Look at the likes of the Exeter Chiefs and the Gallagher Premiership, but also look at some of the champions that we have. Johnny Hill, who got his debut just last week in Italy when England won the Grand Slam and the King himself, Maritoja. So to replicate a line out and for the usage of keeping ourselves warm, I want you to leap really high and just, actually don't do that, because I said I'm not responsible for anything you break in your house, but I want you to get up onto your tiptoes or off the ground at least, just pretend that you're taking a ball up like that. So left hand one side, right hand the other side. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. You have plenty of rest, back up on your feet, getting primed in three, two, one. 30 seconds hard work, let's go. Here we go, bang. Reaching as high as you can. If you can't, if you're in a crowded space and you can't leap too high, just do little jumps. I still want to see that movement. So start from a squat position and just get your hands up. So we want to really extend that shoulders, extending your arms. We've had 20 seconds work now, 10 to go. Here we go. This is absolutely superb, guys. Give us another five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, take a break. Outstanding work. Great warm up there. Love your enthusiasm, your energy and your commitment to this. We're now going to take it onto a few drills which you'll hopefully be able to take from your living room and put onto the pitch as and when it's safe to do so. Please hear me out. We're going to go through a few different little bits and pieces. The first one is the bear crawl. Really simple bear crawl. So you're using your opposite leg with your opposite arm to get yourself in a really strong position. So if you watch here, I'm going to go forward with my right arm and my left leg at the same time, and then I'll move on right leg forwards with my left arm forward. The reason for this is if you're thinking about entering into a ruck, we always talk about driving, not diving. So we don't want to be seeing these positions, we want to be seeing those positions there. So the stronger that we are through our core and our shoulders and our hips, the better, more proficient you're going to be at clearing rucks and you'll be able to do that safely. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. I'll just quickly demo it again. Remember, opposite um, leg to arm. So forward there and then forward there. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. I don't want this to be a sprint. The warm up was high intensity. What I really want to see out of this is technical proficiency and really good quality. So in three, two, one, give us your bear crawls. Remember, in at all times, what you want to see, I'll show you from the side here, is to have a flat back and really stable. So at some point, if I wanted to be able to take my arm away, that I'll be really stable through there. Bum up, low up too high, but flat back in all of that. We've had 15 seconds. Keep going through the motions, making sure that you're feeling really solid through your shoulders and through your hips and your core. It'll most definitely help you when you're clearing out. We've got three seconds, two seconds, one second. Cut. Brilliant stuff there, well done. You should hopefully feel that you've worked through your shoulders and through your core. It is exhausting, but hopefully, technically, you'll be, you'll be able to see a difference when you get back onto the pitch. The next part is a low squat walk. It's a little bit Ron Seal, does exactly what it says on the tin. You get into a low squat 
and you walk. Actually, in saying it, it's a lot more difficult doing it than saying it, but either way, this is what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna give you two different parts where you can do it. Get into that position, walking forward is really good. I'm gonna show you from the side as to what it should look like. So my bum sunk in, flat back, chest up at all times. I'll be walking forward. I'm just moving sideways just for the purpose of this demonstration. But just once again, thinking about that is not a race. If you're feeling comfortable in that position, get a ball, bottle of water, pair of socks, it doesn't really matter. Keep it out in front, shoulders, arm parallel to the floor. And just walking forward just to make it a little bit harder. I know there's some really strong boys and girls on this call this morning. Okay, we're gonna go. I'm going to do it with you. I don't know why, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it a go. If I'm asking you to do it, I should be able to do it myself. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. It's a low squat walk. Here we go. Just little gentle steps, making sure you're not moving too fast and you're actually not overstretching yourself. We really don't want any of this to be a race at all. We just want to make sure that you're getting warm and you're getting proficient in all the areas where it really matters. Okay, Eddie Jones, Simon Middleton, the Red Roses head coach, they often talk about the importance of core strength and you see the very best in the world can do that. Three, two, one, brilliant stuff there. Outstanding. Okay, the next bit is the crab and reach. If you can imagine someone like Tom Curry or Marley Packer, how brilliant they are when they're competing for the ball. So wherever they've been hit, from the side or from the front, they're really strong. This is an exercise to make you unstable, but being strong in that instability. I'll show you from the side as to what it looks like. So get into that crab position, hips up high, and then I want you to take one arm away and reach across. That's all working on your core strength. What we're gonna do here is, we're gonna do three each side. So go like this. <sighs> Hold that position for a second, come back down, work across to the side and repeat three times. So whilst you work hard, I'm going to take a break, but I will be your cheerleader. Oh, I think that. Anyway, anyway, you know the lyrics. Get the song and I hope it's blaring really loud. Okay, we're going in three, two, one, go. There isn't a clock on this. With everything else, it's been 30 seconds. I want you to take your time. We're putting yourself in positions where it can be uncomfortable. So I really want to focus on quality. Everything's about quality. If you hear Eddie Jones, John Mitchell, uh, that proud for any of the coaches that work on those core skills, Simon Amor, they really want quality. So want three each side. Remember, reaching as far as you can, keeping those hips high, keeping those glutes engaged. Three on the right, three on the left. Okay, hopefully you've had enough time to be able to do that. Okay, the next bit's really easy. I say really easy, I haven't done one of these for about 20 years. It's a forward roll. The game's all about contact, okay? We need to make sure that we're ready for that. I know we're not going out to play our game, but we still do want to simulate of some of what it looks like. This could look really, really ugly. Either way, I've been asked, to do a forward roll, so that's what I'm going to do. Very simple, keep it really safe. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, really simple. Just want you to do three forward rolls. If you don't have enough space to be able to do that at home, I want you to practice a little groin stretch. And if you can go from a groin stretch up into your up into your um, tips, of your fingers, then absolutely brilliant. But for the next 30 seconds, we don't want space to be a factor. We still want you to keep active, keep moving. So if you can't do the forward roll, I want you to stretch your groin. Okay, I'm gonna put a 20 second clock on this, three forward rolls, and then we'll, um, then we'll have another little break. Three, two, one, three forward rolls. Remember, just once again, for the purposes of me being sued, I do not accept any responsibilities for anything being broken in your home. That counts for you, your mums, your dad, whoever else at home. Anyway, you should be through your first forward roll, your second forward roll. You've got five seconds to get another one. If you're stretching the groins, make sure you're stretching them. Don't overstretch them though. Three, two, one. 30 seconds on the bear crawl. 
30 seconds on the low squat walk. We're doing three each side on the crab and reach and the three forward rolls. Remember to keep yourself hydrated, take a minute in between all of that, and we want quality, not quantity. Brilliant work. Hopefully you've had a good swig, you're feeling hydrated and energized to go through it again. Thank you for joining us here on England Rugby. It's brilliant to have your company. Great to see you all with your shirts on the first exercise. Just in case you've forgotten, our bear crawls. We're gonna do 30 seconds of that. We're going in three, two, one, get in that position. And remember right throughout all of that, hopefully you're hearing me as you're going through it. We really wanna see a flat back. We wanna see good shoulder stability, so you should be able to do that. Your bum, we want that to be tense, but, but subtle. Did I just say that? That's exactly what I want, okay, guys? I want to see you in really good positions. Remember, these are the positions you'll find yourself in when you're in those Jacqueline positions. Think of Tom Curry, Sam Underhill. Think of Yamali Packers, Brian Lee Cleal. They're all goats at it. Three, two, one. That's your 30 seconds. Superb stuff. Brilliant. Take a quick breath. We're gonna rattle through this, guys. I can feel your energy, I can feel it. Here we go. Okay, now we're gonna do a low squat walk. Really simple. You already know exactly what's happening. Put your bottles of water down. Let's get to work. Three, two, one, low squatting. I'm gonna do the first bit with you because I feel bad that I'm making you work on a Sunday morning, okay? But it's a brilliant age group to work with, 11 to 14. I actually started playing rugby age 13, so you guys and girls, I'm way ahead of myself, so having an understanding of these technical parts of the game is absolutely monumental. I know we're all missing rugby, not able to get out there, but we're keeping in touch. That is what rugby is all about. It's all about the community. Three, two, one. That's your low squat walks done. Outstanding. Right, take a breath. We've rattled through bear crawls. We've gone through low squat walks. We're now gonna go into crab and reach. We'll give you a little bit of time to do it, but go at your own pace. Three, two, one, here we go. Really good technique. Remember, hips up high, squeezing through your glutes, extending through your shoulders and reaching right across. Pause there for a second, place back down, and the same the other side. It should be, you should feel really lengthened through your trunk, through your obliques. Your glutes should feel on fire. I keep calling them glutes, but that's exactly a biological term for it. They're called buns. We'll call them buns and not glutes, but they should feel pert. They should feel firm. They should feel on fire. Okay, so hopefully you've done three on the right as well as three on the left, okay? Uh, rattle through those. Three, two, one. Brilliant work. And the last one is taking me back to my childhood. So forward rolls in the gardens, down the hills. A little bit of mobility through your spine, through your trunk, through your back. I really, really want you to be very careful with this. If you don't have enough space to be able to do this at home the first time around, I said do a groin stretch. What I now want you to do is just a little quad stretch. We've done loads of squats, so take a seat, stretch your quad. I want to do 15 seconds on your right leg, 15 seconds on your left leg. If you do have enough space at home to do forward rolls, I want you to do three of them. And this is the last bit of this section. We're going in three, two, one. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, you've been brilliant so far. I've loved the energy, loved the intensity. Hopefully there's a bit of steam on the windows. We're well, just heating up the house. Turn the central heating off. Keep your shirts on. Tweet us who your club are. Tell us your names. Send us your videos at England Rugby using the hashtag get your shirt on. It's brilliant to see the community of rugby coming together. Outstanding work. Hopefully you've done your three forward rolls. At this time, you should be stretching off your quads, right leg and left leg if you don't have enough space. That's time up for us for this section. Brilliant work. Give yourself a massive round of applause. Right, we've got a challenge for you. We've done all the warm-ups, we've done the drill. Now it's time for you guys and girls at home to take ownership of what you're doing. I'm gonna set up a little challenge in your front room. Well, my front room slash the Twick and RFU gym. You're gonna go through that and then we want you guys to capture your videos and send us in your challenges using the hashtag get your shirt on. It's really simple. Okay, behind me, some things that you might have at home. A rugby ball, there we go. Simple, a towel, and my word, I could do with one right now. Just stick that down there, a pillow, or even a, a bucket, a mop bucket. It could be absolutely anything, or a chair. Okay, 
I now want you, guys and girls, to set yourself a little obstacle course. My mum would never let me do this at home, so this is why I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna stand on a chair, two-footed, and I, actually, I was gonna say land on one, but this is not gonna go down well. So I'm gonna land two-footed, simple. Next bit is, over a cushion or a pillow, I want you to start two-footed, jumping over the pillow, landing on one foot. Simple as this, two foot, landed on one. You're going to ask yourself, why are we doing all of this? And then the bucket, then the ball, using this as an obstacle course. It's really simple. If you think about the best power athletes that we have, Jesse Bridge, Abby Dow, Emily Scarrett, Jason Robinson from way gone, Johnny May, Anthony Watson, Elliot Daly's, all of those guys and girls have a couple of things in common, speed and power. And it all comes about from being really stable and the ability to accelerate whilst being in control. Right, so I've set up my mini assault course, as you can see out here. It's all started with a chair. We're gonna go for it for 30 seconds. And once again, it's all about quality, not quantity. Be safe at home there. Okay, three, two, one, bang, two-legged from there. Okay, two to one over this. Okay, and now I'm gonna step from my left foot onto my right foot over the towel. I'm now gonna go from the towel over the towel onto two feet over this bucket. Let's see if I can do this one-legged. Oh my word. Okay, push me back. Three, two, one. Hup. Oh, you never lose it, do you? It's amazing. It's actually remarkable. I'm not sure what I'm doing next. I might just do it again, actually. How many seconds? Oh my gosh, that's 30 seconds. What am I even doing? I lost control of time. I'm really sorry. 30 seconds, that's what it is. This is my challenge. Now, I want you at home to set us the challenge. Make up your own obstacle course. Tag at England Rugby, Twitter, as well as Instagram. Tag in your club with a picture of your club shirts. Send us the best ones and we'll put the boys and girls to the test. The next thing we're gonna do is a very simple thing. If you've got a ball at home, absolutely brilliant. And if you don't find anything that you've got in around you, don't drop it. Um, socks. Socks are absolutely brilliant. What we're gonna do is a very simple task. It's all about hand-eye coordination and putting those skills under pressure. Something that Eddie Jones and Simon Middleton, the head coach of the Red Roses, always talks about. This one is just throwing the ball up, or a pair of socks up, and getting a couple of claps in. All I'm gonna tell you, just to make it a little bit more competitive, is uh, Katie Daly McLean and Owen Fowler had a go at this last week, and they got 23 in 30 seconds. That's all I'm saying. Let's see if you can beat him. 30 seconds. I want to see how many you can do doing starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Really simple skill. Just a couple of claps. And don't forget, don't chuck the ball up too high, a pair of socks up too high. You want it in relative eye line. It's always really good to talk about and think about your peripheral vision. So if, if you're getting really good at it, I want you to see if you can look forward without looking up, catching it, a couple of claps, and we'll drop that one and making sure we came. We've got five seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant stuff. If you've bossed that one, we're going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to see if you can chuck the ball up whilst, whilst you're hopping. How about that? I don't have any records for this, but I reckon someone like a Poppy Cleo, she's brilliant at the handling work out there in the lineup. She's fantastic at this. Okay, so we're now gonna see how many of these you can do in 30 seconds. Hopefully you've got your, your breath back. So it's gonna be a simple one of those whilst hopping in three, two, one, go. The same principles apply. Remember, just to keep your eye on the ball, hands nice and soft, chucking it up in the air. You can swap, go from your right leg to your left leg. How about that? Look at that. Really easy skills if you're getting really good at it. Once again, keep your eyes forward and just focusing on catching that ball really quick. Um, I always say, Rachel Burford actually told me this a long time ago and I'll never forget it. She said, the better you can catch, the better you can pass. Really simple. Three, two, one, bang. 30 seconds is up. Excellent work. Okay, I'm getting tired doing it. Hopefully you guys are tired, but more so than anything, really enjoying it. We're gonna break it down just a little bit. This is gonna be a bit more full body, an extension from what we're just doing there. The figure of it, everyone knows exactly how to do it. So we're not gonna, to make it a little bit more technical, what I will, I'm gonna come side on. I want you to get into a good squat position. So you wanna almost get into 90 degrees, 
do as I say, not as I do. I can't get to 90 degrees, I'm old. Give us a break. Okay, and we want a wide, strong base here. And I just want you to circle in. But if you can see from my back, the whole time, my back is really flat and my chest is always up. I don't want to see you hunched over like this. Who does that? Who does that for anything, okay? So that's what I want you to really focus on because we don't want injuries, we just want you to have fun. 30 seconds, figure of eight. I'm gonna do this one with you, okay? Three, oh, we'll do it with some socks. Actually, no, I'm gonna do it, oh, no. I'm gonna do it with a netball. I'm gonna do it with a netball, okay? I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, go in. In three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a shock. It was a slow start, but I'm gathering momentum. Okay, we're 10 seconds now. We've got 20 to go. Remember, keep a flat back just like me here. 90 degrees, transferring that ball. Don't forget, if you can't hold it, just the one hand, making sure you're just taking the time. We just want to uh, make your skills a lot better, but we're putting it under pressure. We've got three, we've got two, we've got one. It's easy as that. As you can see, and everything that we've done today from the warm up is gradually got a little bit quicker, a little bit harder. Today with the skills, we're working from a very simple skill and we're just making it a little bit harder. We want you to be creative with this now, okay? So if you've got any skills you make up, the game is an opportunity to represent and be creative, show off all your skills. I'm a winger. I love showing off. I want you guys to show off. We want you to show off, but we also want you to share so any skills, if you can create some new challenges, because in the next couple of weeks, we've got some legendary players from the Red Roses and the England senior team who are gonna be joining you over the course of the next couple of Sundays. So film your skills, put a clock on it, and tag at England Rugby on Instagram, and they're gonna be sharing it. That's the next part of our skills section. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Here's a bit of bonus footage for you. Have a look at the challenge set by your very own Red Roses. A good idea to keep up your rugby skills at home is grab a rugby ball or um, anything larger, even a football, um, and put it on your back, get in a bare crawl position um, and crawl through. You can put some cones out in front of you, make a little assault course, crawl through the assault course, forwards, backwards, side to side, and make sure that rugby ball or whatever ball or item you have on your back stays there. Thank you so much for your time, for your energy and your attention this morning. It's so important during these periods that we keep active. We know how important it is, not just for us, but for you guys as well. So it's great to see you all with your community club, community shirts on. We really value all of your support. If you've got any comments, if you've got any records, if you set records, broke records, created new games, leave them in the comment section below. Get on Twitter, get on Instagram, at England Rugby. Use the hashtag, get your shirt on, and let us know what you think. It's been a pleasure. Um, sorry, it's Eddie Jones. Hey, mate. Yeah, videos are good, weren't they? What? Penny Hill? Yeah. Ireland next week, is it? Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm going to have to go. That's Eddie Jones. Apparently I'm back, baby. We'll see you again very soon next week. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless. Goodbye.